Hey everyone, it's Gavin at Gamescom 2016 with Arno, who's going to talk to us about Steep. Now, I played Steep yesterday. Yeah. I wasn't very good at it, but I had a very patient man with me talking me through it because it's, it's a really good game, but it's super hard to look, look good while you're playing it. Mm -hmm. It was for me anyway. So can you talk us through like, what kind of game we're talking about here? So yeah, Steep is an open world action sports game. So yeah. you'll be able to play three, uh, four different sports, okay. wingsuit, paraglide, and snowboard and ski. Yeah. And uh, we bring you to a vast mountain uh, yeah. environment, and there are many different type of uh, terrain, of, uh, of uh, features you can uh, discover yeah. in this uh, open world. Yeah. Uh, and then you can decide to, let's say, explore off roaming, create your own line, share them with your friends, yeah. or you can take part in the different type of activities we have in yeah. the game. So you guys like are primarily known for your multiplayer stuff. Yeah. Like you got multiplayer chops. So it, there's a lot of multiplayer stuff going on. Like I play with three other people, and I could see their lines going on. Yeah. And it kind of made me just. I was replaying lots of stuff because I did my run. and I thought that was fine. But then I was replaying more because like the th one of the guys that beat me, I was like, well, I want to beat his yeah. thing now. So that's going to be a big part of it, right? Yeah, exactly. This is exactly what we want uh, players to experiment this kind yeah. of uh, friendly competition. So uh, you will be uh, always connected in the game. Yeah. Uh, you will see other players seamlessly uh, riding around yeah. uh, around you, and you can decide then to play with your friends. Yeah. And once with your friends. Yeah, you can enter this uh, nice competition yeah. loop where you try to beat each other's performances or share your trail. Okay. And this bit is actually a story bit, right? Yeah. Like there's, there's actually story bits in it. Can you talk to us about a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, this is something we're offering at, uh, at Gamescom. Okay. Uh, so we have another type of activities and we call them the mountain stories. Cool. And uh, mountain stories are cool narrative moments uh, yeah. to immerse you in the action sports universe. Yeah. So it's not linear. It's up to you to uh, explore the world and discover these uh, bits of stories. Yeah. And uh, then you will be immersed in, let's say, in a behind the scene movie shooting yeah. or some more crazy stuff. Okay. And what's this guy doing here? So he, you can just, as well as obviously doing the extreme sports stuff, you can just kind of walk around and explore, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, we really want exploration to be a big part of the experience. Yeah. So basically, there are many uh, uncharted places in the world, yeah. uh, and you have to uh, explore them to discover new lines, to open yeah. new lines. Uh, and to do so, you have to reach these places using yeah. all the sports together and uh, scout the environment to uh, find potential opportunities. Yeah. You see, we have binoculars to scout the environment, okay. and see here, there are these potentially drop zones, but right. you need to be close enough to confirm visually so you can mark and right. then try to reach it and get closer. And then what happens with the drop zones when you unlock them? There'll be challenges and things there. Yeah, there, so yeah. we really want uh, reward exploration. So when yeah. you find the drop zones, either you will have some uh, new activities to play, okay. or a mountain story, or yeah. a super cool uh, point of interest. And okay. point of interest are unique places in the world where you can spend a lot of time just creating line and having fun. Yeah. And it's a big old map, man. Like I was walking, I was kind of like looking, I zoomed out yeah. to see what I could find. And it's huge. Yeah, it's huge, yeah. <laughs> so so <laughs> this guy here now, so he's going off to try and find this drop zone, right? Yeah, and uh, you see he's using the paraglide because paraglide is a perfect uh, mean yeah. for exploration. Uh, I mean, you can fly over the forest, the valleys, and you can even use uh, upwinds to uh, reach higher grounds. Okay. And there's a bunch of different, um, like, ways of playing, like you've got them on your yeah, ship yeah, yeah. there. So we really want uh, to support different type of play style because mm. the world, uh, the mountains, allows these uh, different type of approaches. Yeah. So obviously we have freestyle, so tricks, uh, we have free ride, let's imagine you can ride across all this nice forest, yeah. use all the bumps to do some super line. Yeah. And then we have more different type of play style. So mm. we have the, of course the exploration. And even if you are just doing exploration in the game, you will keep progressing. Okay. So it's, you are not stuck to let's say tricks or, or something like that. How is that going to affect online play though? Because obviously if you're playing it in you know, a nice yeah. calm and collected way, yeah. and I'm an idiot playing, doing yeah. like different tricks and things, when we join up to do different challenges together, how is that going to affect that? So uh, we have something we call play styles. And okay. actually, when we meet together, I will be able to see what is your play style. Yeah. And it's defined by what you are doing in the game. So if yeah. you are this type of player, you can be either a freestyler or, uh, or let's say a free rider. Yeah. I will have this information, and I can know what I can do with you. Let's yeah. say I meet an explorer. This means this guy has potentially explored the world and knows yeah. places that I didn't know yet. and I potentially need to follow you. Yeah. And can you, you know, if you decide you don't want to be playing as like uh, a free rider anymore, yeah. how easy is it to switch a play style? Zone? You can switch at any moment actually and you can mm. even combine everything. It just we have some activities from for all the play styles. Yeah. Uh, so you can decide to stay focused on a single one or yeah. be 
you play them uh, yeah. all at the same time. It's not something you are stuck into. Okay, I'm interested to see how, like, what kind of research you guys did for like making these maps and you know how you did that. So it has been pretty easy for us actually. We just have to yeah. open the window and uh, <laughs> when it's come to mountain <laughs> just in front of us. Uh, so this is where also we go skiing on the weekend. So this is. We are passionate about action yeah. sports, uh, mountains, so it has been really easy to, to yeah. uh, 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 nail uh, this. Okay. Uh, the research was more into the open world online uh, experience, so we yeah. really want to create this uh, seamless experience where you can decide to go through roaming, play activities, meet other players seamlessly. Yeah. And this is where we have to uh, work a lot to uh, nail something that is really cool. Yeah, because yeah, that actually happened when I was playing. So I was in the middle of a challenge, but I kind of just, something caught my eyes over there and I just kind of went off and it wasn't like, you have stopped doing this challenge. It didn't punish me. It was like, yeah, you just go and do that. Yeah, yeah. And you can really have this flow or you are exploring, meeting, uh, discovering a challenge, play it, keep free roaming. Yeah. Uh, and you have this super nice trail and you can decide to share this trail with yeah. your friends, create this competition yeah. and it's all in the same flow. And I had a go, like, I looked at the way that you have the GoPro camera on yeah. the top. That really changes things. Yeah. So we really want to uh, try to create this uh, immersive feeling. So even with the sound bites and stuff like that, yeah. it's really a GoPro camera. Yeah. Uh, so we, we, we have to uh, still uh, nail the, the um, shaky things. Okay. But for the moment, it's really like if you have a GoPro on your hand. Yeah. And like, how much, how realistic is it? You mean the GoPro? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's actually it's uh, it's really on your helmet, okay. and uh, we just switch the camera to it, and yeah. it's your head movements. Uh, if you do a flip while you trick, you will have some really cool experience. See <laughs> the sky at some point, yeah. and go back to the ground. So it's exactly like a real uh, GoPro footage you yeah. can find on YouTube. So this map here that we're seeing, like how far into the game would this player have been playing? To have this kind of, uh, so let's say it's, uh, yeah, you can count on 10 or 20 hours of exploration yeah. just to be okay. able to see all these, uh, all those yeah. spots. And you see there are some spots that are locked and we have a progression system, we call okay. it the reputation. And you have to uh, complete activities, unlock drop zones, mm. uh, or do special feats in your rides to be able to gain reputation points yeah. and unlock uh, those spots. So yeah, you have many hours of uh, gameplay before being able to room. Let's say right on the Mont Blanc. Yeah. So this guy. So obviously it changes like the weather and yeah. like time of day and stuff like that. Does that affect how you have to play then? No, no. Actually, it's more to create a super cool setting if you want. Yeah. Let's say to shoot videos or share screenshots. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't have a real gameplay uh, effects. We have some uh, ambiences that are more foggy, or yeah. we have even night ambience, and it can change a bit the visibility you have. Yeah. But we don't want to uh, affect the gameplay. We, we really want to keep players being in the flow yeah. and have a super nice gameplay experience. So we've just seen a player join there, yeah. and that is pretty seamless the way he joined in. It's totally seamless. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, you are uh, all the players are in the same mountain, and as soon as you have other players in your surrounding, yeah. we'll show them up. Uh, and you see the little uh, orange icon. Yeah. We decided to group together, okay. so I met this player and we grouped together, so now we have a link yeah. together in the mountain. That say if he goes to the Mont Blanc and I go to the extreme opposite, we are yeah. still together in the mountain. And I was talking about the play style, so this guy is an extreme rider, the okay. orange uh, icon. So that means if I follow him, I think I will go into extreme lines. <laughs> So you are going to follow him now? Yeah. And will it change? Obviously, he's going down on skis, you're going down on snowboard. Yeah. How hard is it to keep up with him then? Uh, snowboard and skis are uh, exactly the same in terms okay. of navigation. The difference comes when you come to tricks, because yeah. it's definitely a totally different sport. Yeah. So uh, the tricks on snowboard and tricks on tr on skis are really different. Yeah. So here, you're n are you actually against each other, or this is more like a... No, no, it's thing? more like uh, I'm following him, he's uh, opening a line, and you see I'm not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a fall. But that's part of, of the game, of yeah. course. We have uh, even a playstyle supporting that. Uh, you know, you, you receive G-force on impacts, and we have a score. <laughs> for GeForce, yeah. so even crashing is part of the experience. Yeah, that kind of happened with me yesterday. I did like um, a wingsuit challenge yeah. that I did really well at. I was like first. So the guy was like, oh, we'll open up this uh, hard wingsuit challenge for you. Yeah. I could not do it. The forest one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have this uh, kind of challenges. So we, we wanted to show it at Gamescom to see how far we can go in the, in the mastery yeah. of the skills in the different sports. Yeah. And this one is really tough. Uh, and so we have this kind of uh, gap of um, progression, yeah. mastery you need to have on all the sports and you will meet this kind of challenge by the end of the experience. Yeah. And how much uh, of the parts of the mountain are based on real bits of mountain? So it's not real, exactly, uh, replication of the mountain, it's more our own uh, replication. We wanted to uh, control it because to make sure we have 
only uh, fun gameplay spaces uh, in the world. So it really feels like you are in the Mont Blanc or you are on top of the Matterhorn, but yeah. it's not the exact uh, replication. Okay. And uh, with the line, you're following the line, but you can go off and do your own thing. Sure, right? definitely. Yeah. yeah. So challenges are here uh, to create some uh, structure if you want to uh, do a specific activity with a start and an end and a performance, and yeah. there is a line, you can follow it. But to achieve your performance, you can decide to uh, go your own way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, here it's about tricks, but uh, you see on the left, you can go on the half pipe and do tricks to reach the finish line. So yeah. there are uh, freedom in the space uh, for the challenges. And we see that like, this guy is wearing a goat head uh, on his thing. <laughs> like, is there a lot of customization going on in the yeah, game? Yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. So this is something we'll give more detail on in the future, but uh, we have uh, many parts of uh, your riders that you can customize. Yeah. Uh, and we have Serious outfits. Yeah. Uh, we have branded outfits, of course, but we have also some fun parts with uh, animal helmets and yeah. or even costumes or okay, snowman cool. or whatever. You want. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I saw a snowman head actually yeah, yesterday, yeah. which is really but funny. We have the full costume. Actually. So people who are into like snowboarding for real, like, will yeah. they recognize bits like you know obviously the gear and things like that? Is it quite realistic to that point? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we 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 are trying to do uh, something uh, realistic. Uh, so you know, we discuss with. Um, uh, snowboard manufacturers. Yeah. Uh, they give us some uh, some, in some hints on the parameters for the board, for, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, but we decided not to go into a so uh, wide variety of experiences. You know, there is snowboard just for yeah. uh, deep uh, powder snow, yeah. uh, or for freestyle, uh, or for free ride. But we wanted to stay most on a single. Uh, all around snowboard or yeah. ski uh, to make sure player can ride everywhere uh, yeah. uh, and have fun. So you guys been working on this for a while. What's your favorite way of playing it? For me, it's yeah. definitely free ride. So I mean, uh, I'm not into uh, really uh, tricks or what. I prefer yeah. find the perfect line in a super cool environment okay. and do some uh, some cool stuff here. And one thing that's before we sort of wrap up is, I think it's almost a perfect game for VR. Yeah. Like, do you think guys think at any point you do a VR version? So you know, we are really focused on the console version and PC yeah. version for the release. But uh, yeah, we we hear that a lot actually. And yeah. uh, and. I would lie if I say it's not something that is would be super cool. Yeah. So definitely, this is something we'll some consider at some point. Yeah. But at the moment, we are focused on the on the console version. And it's actually going to be like uh, it's going to come out December, right? Yeah, December the second. Awesome. Well, yeah. that's awesome. That was steep, uh, but that's not all because we've got so much more coming up on the iGen live stream. So stay right here. <laughs>